Meantime, the countdown is on until Michigan gets invaded by some underground dwellers. That's right, we're talking about cicadas, and they're going to take flight in Michigan this spring after 17 years underground, and it's going to get loud. According to the U.S. Forest Service, active brood X cicadas can be found in Michigan, Illinois, Ohio, Indiana, and a handful of other states. Millions are expected here in Michigan between mid-May and the end of June. But our cooler weather could delay their arrival because the ground temperature needs to reach 64 degrees at 8 inches deep for the bugs to dig their way out. So what can you expect if you live in an area affected by the emergence of brood X cicadas? It's certainly going to be loud. As you just heard, your yard may be littered with cicada shells, but they won't be here for long. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live at Ground Zero. That's Washtenaw County with a deep dive look at the big bug show. Jim. Yeah, Carolyn, and here at Ground Zero, this is going to be a show that most people here just can't avoid. First, you'll see these tunnels, cicadas clearing their path up from living dormant off tree sap since 2004. As they emerge, they will leave their shells with a new white body and grow wings. The map in yellow shows where the brood X are expected to return this year in the highest numbers. This is from tracing their parents 17 years ago. There are other documented locations you'll want to know. Oakland, Cass, maybe St. Joe County, um, possibly Lenaway. If you don't see them, you'll hear them. They will be loud. If you don't like noise, um, if you don't like lusty insect behavior, then you want to avoid areas where these things are going to occur. And digging deeper, that means... When the males fly off and form choruses, and they sing quote unquote saying, what they're trying to do is convince females they're, they're worth the effort to stop by and visit. Their only purpose is to continue their life cycle. This is a big party for them. This is the only party for them. They're going to be out here by the million. Um, no, I'm not really too worried about it. I think that they're just going to be, uh, you know, doing their thing, getting their mate on. The females will lay their eggs in trees that will eventually fall to the ground and start the life cycle all over again. That's not a big threat. The only real concern are newly planted or newly transplanted young trees. It'll be one of those things that you're telling your kids about um, whenever they come up the next time. Uh, it'll probably be gross for a while. <laughs> Too gross for some in Cincinnati where the cicada show is ahead of us. Michelle Dillingham set up a Facebook cicada anxiety page. So what can we do to help each other figure out how to cope with them? Also in Cincinnati, a local company has produced this safe suit so you can socially distance. If you want to go all in, get the Cicada Safari app. You can photograph and record sounds that will be plotted on a map for tracking. Now, birds and squirrels can eat these bugs. They're going to get fat on them. If they're in your yard, your dog, your cat can eat the bugs. They're safe. And Carolyn, some people are even talking about cooking these up and eating them. I don't know if they're going to dip them in chocolate cook them up, fry cook them or what, but anybody who's going to do that in the weeks ahead, let me know. We'll do a follow-up story. <laughs> Carolyn, uh, yeah. back to uh, you. From a distance, no tasting though. Maybe you can look at it. I don't know if you're daring <laughs> enough to eat it. I can look at them. I'm not afraid of bugs, but I don't know about eating them. But uh, thank you. Quite interesting, Jim. All right. Now to track the emergence or to see how your uh, how close your neighborhood is to the action, head to WXYZ.com to find out. All right.